Hello everyone and welcome back to Mario Kart 8. Today we're going to be continuing where I last left off with the DLC cups. Uh, going to be doing uh, the propeller cup. Yeah. So, a woohoo! This is actually my second attempt recording this. Um, I don't know what happened with the first recording. It just kind of... I wouldn't really say corrupted, but more of just didn't decide to save. So I guess corrupted would be the word to use, but... Uh, yeah, this is actually my second time running through this. I'll say I'm kind of glad that I got a redo on this video because my commentary sucked last time. It was not interesting or enjoyable whatsoever. I mean, for some reason I talked about the uh, old, really weird and strange Black Yoshi comic from like the UK Nintendo. Uh, I don't know what it was. I think it was published by Fleetway, the same dudes that did the, uh... Same dudes that did the Sonic comics over in the UK, and... Turned out, not only did the... I'm pretty sure that they were the ones that did the Yoshi comic, which featured... Black Yoshi being... Treated like a... Black man around the time of the 80s or... Late 70s, something like that. And it was... The weirdest fucking shit ever. And remember, they also did a Donkey Kong comic, which that was also interesting. Nothing weird and extremely outdated about that one. Just very strange that it existed. Okay, there we go. I think hopefully that blew up the show. Better the show was a lie because I don't. Because I didn't hear the bomb go off before um, it disappeared, so I could have been lied to, and the bomb was not the thing that saved me. But uh, recently, if you've been keeping up with my Twitter at all, um. I've been rereading some of the Archie's Archie Sonic comics that I just have. Don't know how or why I just have them. I just do inside a little like collection book that's just a bunch of random assorted stories and and I've also been reading uh, Sonic First, which was another collection comic, but this one. I've actually been reading through Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube. It contains just a bunch of first for the series, such as like the first Sonic comic, the first time Sonic went super, the first time Knuckles appeared, just a bunch of stuff like that. And, you know, it's it's pretty cool. You know, it's you know pretty cool to have it made, and I've slowly started to understand why people like the Archie comics so much. I still very much prefer IDW, just because they are better in every way, in my opinion, but then again, I've barely even touched the series. I've only read... I've mostly read the classic Archie stuff, which, from my understanding, isn't that good, and I haven't even touched the modern stuff, so, who's to say? Although there is a very fine midpoint that I am very scared to read, if I ever do get around to sitting down and reading the entire Archie series. I do not look forward to reading some of the early 2000s stuff, primarily when, you know, early 2000s, extremely late 90s, 
around that era when the comic was apparently like really weird. I'm not looking forward to reading that because I don't want to know the atrocities that happened in that time period, but I want to see Nintendo keep bringing back a bunch of the NES and, uh, not NES, the, a bunch of the Super Nintendo and G GBA tracks from those Mario Karts, because Let's be honest with ourselves, those Mario Karts kind of sucked, and so in turn their tracks kind of sucked too. And I think, you know, it'd be great just to give those tracks a... Oh, you... Fuck. Come on, damn it. Well, it's not like either way it was gonna fucking... I hate this game sometimes. I really do hate this game sometimes. My camera is all sorts of off. Damn it. I don't like it looking like that. No, oh, well, it is what it is. Best I can do. But uh, anyways, um... Hmm. Hey, a Mushroom Gorge. This is... This is another really good track. Um... I haven't played every Mario Kart game. I have played... I've played my fair share of Super from Nintendo Switch Online, and I also had it on my old Wii's Virtual Shop. Uh, same with Super Circuit. I had it via the Virtual Shop, and there were... They're all right Mario Karts, I guess, if you just really want to revisit the old games. You know, they're there. I would not recommend it. It'd be like, why would you want to reread the... Okay, that's bullshit. That happened to me last time. I'd rather you just not. Although, if I hit it enough to activate the glide, I feel like I should hit it enough for it to bounce me up and not fuck me. Anyways, besides, this track was better in Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart 7 will... Ah, damn it. Mario Kart 7 will probably go down as my uh, favorite Mario Kart. Not because it's, like, super special or anything, but just because I feel like despite having kind of a... Ow, oh, damn it. Despite having kind of an out-there roster some of its character choices. I feel like 7 is the best Mario Kart for me, balance-wise. I feel like it's just chaotic enough to be chaotically fun, and it's just balanced enough for me to not feel like I'm being cheated on. Plus, I feel like only having... Eight racers allows things to be spread out more, and, you know, like, the game's not too easy, but at the same time, it's not super crowded, and... Okay, well... I gotta time this right! Oh, yes! First place, suck it, Donkey Kong. Hmm. And what I was saying, oh yeah, uh, yeah, Mario Kart 7. Not only do I think the kart selection and character selection was overall better in that game, just it was in general a better game in my opinion. All the original tracks were, in my opinion, way better than the original tracks in this game, and off the returning tracks, I feel like were done better in that game as well. As far as the other Mario Karts, the only ones, the only one I have not played, excluding the arcade games, because those do not count, those aren't fucking Mario Kart, those are non-Mario Karts, those are crossover games. 
But sh shut up if I don't want to count it. You you can type away in the comments all you like. It's not going to change my mind on what I consider real Mario Kart and fake. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, um, I don't think the arcade games count. Um, Seven is the best one. I haven't played Double Dash, sadly, I know, I'm not a true gamer, but I haven't, I haven't even played, oh, well, yeah, just throw everything at me, why don't you, game? Uh, I haven't played any of the Mario Parties on GameCube, so there's something else for all the nerds in the comments to rant about me not playing and not having a childhood and all that bullshit. I haven't played The Thousand Year Door. I haven't played Color Splash. Um, Mario Kart Wii is just okay at best. Completely atrocious at worst. Uh, Super Circuit and... Super suck ass. Uh, DS. Actually, really good. A super nostalgic Mario Kart. I want to see the, um, Dufino Plaza from that game return. I really want to see that return at some point during the, um, at some point during the DLC. Also, feel like that game had better car choices as opposed and a better character roster compared to my Kart 8. Um hmm. Someone else. Um Mario Kart 64 is my second second third that's actually a very hard decision between Mario Kart 8 and 64 for which is my second favorite Mario Kart game. But 7's the first, I feel like... I don't know, I feel like it depends on what day you catch me on. If I'll say Mario, Six, Mario Kart 64 or Mario Kart 8 is the second favorite Mario Kart game, in my opinion. And me, in turn, meaning it is the second best, so... Don't really know where to land on that one, though.